If you bring enough smart people together in the same room, great things will happen. That was the idea behind the Kentucky Math Summit, which brought together teachers and others who care about math from across the state to look at data, discuss trends, offer solutions, all with the goal of generating information that can be used to build a plan that will continue strengthening math skills among students across Kentucky. The information from this summit has now been compiled and organized, and you can view it on the webpage of the Kentucky Center for Mathematics at KentuckyMathematics.org. So check that out and stay tuned to this issue because this is the beginning of an effort that will be sustained and built upon. Now, while we were at the summit, we talked to a few teachers about ways that they make math engaging for their students Here's what they had to say. So what do you say to someone who thinks math is boring or irrelevant? I believe that math is one of the most interesting puzzles in the entire world. And you just need someone that can spark that puzzle, that creative energy within you to be able to do that. And every person is a math person. You just got to believe in yourself. Uh, so math sometimes has a reputation for being challenging. How do you make it engaging and approachable to students? I think that making math uh, engaging and approachable for students is bringing um, the real world into the math classroom and asking students to think about how math can help them make sense of the world, right? So it's as simple as in a kindergarten classroom, bringing in a picture of the egg carton on my kitchen counter in the morning with some eggs that are still in the carton and some eggs that are cracked and asking them, what do they notice? What do they wonder? Um, and kids will start saying like, oh, I see three eggs in the carton. I see three shells on the counter. And some kids will talk about, um, I wonder how many eggs you ate, right? And all of a sudden we start having these conversations and asking these questions that math can help us answer. And so when we bring the real world into the math classroom and ask students to think about it and use math to make sense of it, now we've made math meaningful. Can you share a real life example where math played a key role in solving a problem or helping you make a significant decision? Yeah, so one of my first years teaching um, and even every year as it approaches this time of year, um, you have to go through benefits analysis of like what health benefits are you going to do? Um, and I had my students do that where they took you know, basic information about my myself, my husband, and our family, and they had to look to see which health benefit plan was the best for us. Um, and I think that's something that everybody takes for granted that we all do as adults every single year. Um, you're looking for the best cost analysis. You're looking at for the lowest monthly payment. You're looking for different variables that matter to you. Um, and I have a lot of students in that first class that now have families of their own and really appreciate the fact that we did that project, right? Now, did they, did they fully understand everything when they did it? Absolutely not. But now that they're making decisions for their own families, um, seeing that real world math was important.